problem 2.2-2. The problem statement reads, a block of a linear elastic material is attached to steel plates on top and bottom. A force, F, is applied to the top plate, resulting in a shear strain, gamma, in the material. Find the shear modulus of the material given these values. The force, F, is 4,500 newtons. The force F is 4,500 newtons. Gamma is equal to 0 0.007. That's units of radians, which is typical for gamma. And the dimensions A, B, and H are also shown. We have everything we need to solve this problem. I have set up my paper with the given information. We're finding the shear modulus of the material. Now I write my solution. I am going to begin by drawing a free body diagram. I've now drawn a free body diagram of this structure. And I have placed an arbitrary cut partway through the material. And I did that so that I could evaluate the internal shear force acting inside the material. Now, at the bottom base plate, there is a force, 4,500 newtons. And now I will sum my forces in the x direction to determine the internal shear force, V. Summing the forces in the x direction gives me the shear force, internal shear force V is equal to 4,500 newtons. Using the equation, average shear stress is equal to internal shear force V divided by cross-sectional area A, I can write that the internal shear force is 4,500 newtons, and that's divided by the cross-sectional area of the surface over which it's acting. Now you can see the shear force in this free body diagram is acting over this cut surface, which has a length of A, which is 200 millimeters, or 0.2 meters. And the other dimension for this surface is this dimension here, B, which is 150 millimeters, or 0 0.15 meters. Calculating average shear stress, I get 150,000 newtons per meter squared, which is equivalent to 0 0.150 megapascals. The final step is to use Hooke's Law for shear stress and strain, which is G, the shear modulus, is equal to shear stress divided by shear strain. And that is equal to a shear stress of 0 0.15 megapascals. And the shear strain is shown in the diagram. That's gamma. That's equal to 0 0.007 units of radians. If I plug these values into my equation, I get a value for shear modulus to be 21.43 megapascals. That's our answer, and our problem is complete.